All right, so as you guys can see, the mod definitely does make a noticeable change in the game. <laughs> for the better, I'd like to say. However, it doesn't work for all characters. It only works for about like 85 to 90 percent of them. However, it, it seems to make a difference in the overall gameplay. It's pretty fun. It's, looks good. So, you guys could take your moment to adore, you know, appreciate, and then begin. So, um, let's just go ahead and continue off with the Dual Shinobi Hearts stage show defeat Minari Murasaki. Alright, so these are all grunts, 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 but these are actual enemies, so like... Hopefully, I can actually use Kafuru this time. Probably like a 99.9% .9 chance it won't work because it never has. But who knows? It might just be. It might just be lucky. So each stage contains breakable objects. If you break one, you might find a useful item. So if you're in a, yeah, whatever. Okay. What the hell are y'all wearing, though? Beans from BC mask. The fuck? These guys are always up to something different. Honestly, like if you guys actually care about reading the dialogue, some of them can actually be really damn funny. I just don't really have time to read all the dialogue because, well, I'm here to kick ass, not really read. If I want to read, I'll just watch a straight up anime in Japanese and just read the subtitles. So it's like, anyways, let's just go on ahead and fight. So we're at the park. Ah, uh, over here. Okay. So I'm using you. Alright then, and we are facing OU. She can be a problem. Oh, Murasaki is a problem. I'm gonna like target her first, man. Let's go deal with her real quick. Give me them aerial combos. Make it so that she has to use her shinobi transformation pretty soon. Alright, so every single time that they take damage, their HP goes down. And as their HP hits certain stages, well, that also reflects on the aesthetics of their outfits. As you can see, the more damage they take, the more torn up their clothes look. So, it's kind of interesting. So now, this one went shinobi mode, so more offensive, pretty much. As if you weren't already a problem. Oh no, my teammate's already getting wrecked. Not good. I'm gonna make you go transform actually. Alright, so now we got you to that stage. I'll finish off the combination. Well, I guess I couldn't. I'll try and get one going on here. Oh no, she in the transform. Alright. Let's see, does the mod work for you? And I think it did, but I, I couldn't see. No, it didn't. Okay. So yeah, I think this is like literally one of the three to five characters in the entire game which aren't affected by the mod. It's unfortunate. I wish it did work on this one, but it's all good. <clears throat> oh, is that a dodge? Did you just dodge my attack? I see. Seems like I haven't even needed to go shinobi mode just yet, which is great. Okay, so you're taking some damage, but you still have shinobi mode left, so it's all good. Yeah, I don't want to be eating combos like that for days. Okay, so it seems like I took some damage now. 
Awesome. Okay. Alright then. Oh no, I'm dazed right now. Yeah, I'm just going to use my transformation now. So as you can see, this one is affected by the mod. <laughs> so every time they do a shinobi transformation, you get a little peek, I guess. And you have a saw blade. What the fuck? Okay, then I guess I'm using that. Well, damn, that seems to have done some decent damage. So let's get rid of this one. Bruh. So this is like your finished scene. Alright. They all have weird finished scenes, to be honest. Some of them are just outright ridiculous. Some of them are actually kind of funny. Ow. Alright, there we go. Okay, you taking some damage here. Dope. There we go, wrap it up in the air. <laughs> And then wrap it up with There we go. GG. So it also shows in the finished scenes if they were affected from the mod previously. The way that she's so play about saying that you're no match for them. Not many people will be talking shit, but she's like, nah, you're just no match for me. It's kind of funny. Now, normally, if you get beaten by a significant amount, no way they're talking Gaza. <laughs> so, it's pretty interesting. Taking out, there's only one of them that's, like, totally intact. And then everyone else is just like, nope, nope, forget this. And as you can see, they do like a little bit of a dialogue. Uh, it's not really that important to pay attention. It's mostly for the humor. It's like a facetious dialogue. It's nothing to do with the actual game, really. Um, if you guys actually want to know more about the story, you'd have to play Shinobi Girl's Heart, I believe, which is the first quest line. And then it will like fill you guys in on everything that happens, like the rivalries between the different dojos and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, I'm not really paying attention to any of this, to be honest. I'm just talking and skipping through everything. Mountain of apple pie. See what I'm talking about? Like, this is random. Like, this is just random. She's like, uh, yeah. Full time staff. Don't kill me. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this because yeah, you guys get the point. It's like they just give you like a little bit of dialogue after the fight, and the condition of the character reflects what happened in the actual match. So, overwrite save data. Yes, I'll do one more mission and then call that a video and just upload it. So, character screen. You can press whatever that is to select certain stuff. Okay. That is an interesting pose, I see. Hmm. You got like a whole bunch of stuff here that you can do. The online feature for me is meh. I ended up getting my game cracked, so like, I'm no, I don't even think I have online capabilities. I, I really don't think so. Records is where you go to save. Switch is where you can switch your main characters. 
shop you can go there and like purchase a very like a variety of things not like weapons and stuff but mostly aesthetic things like costumes outfits stuff like that you can also grab I believe pictures maybe music I'm not 100% sure and I haven't gone there in a little bit of time but yeah it's mostly just aesthetic stuff that you can grab from the shop nothing to actually improve your performance in the fighting but it's so whatever I mean you just make money with fights and you make your character look cooler so I guess it kind of works out in the end but library all that shit whatever so let's go back to mission and we're gonna go ahead and hit up the same thing but this time we're doing the next mission so horror is see if we can find Kafuru I doubt it's going to work but we shall try <laughs> so let this load Enemy attacks are too intense, press right button to guard. That's the problem when you have a good PC. If everything loads too fast, you don't get to see the damn instructions. Alright, so we gotta defeat all the grunts here pretty much, and then that's it, so. Hmm. Oh, so I had enough time to read all this, but I didn't have enough time to read all that before. I guess that was a dialogue scene, it was a really short thing to load. Oh, I actually like using you. I think. Are you the right character? Let me see. Let me, let me just make sure that I'm, I'm right here. Let me see this. Yeah, 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 you're the right one. Yeah, you're dope as hell. Like, look at this, y'all. She just, like, tears enemies up with the melee. Like, it's ridiculous. It's like a scythe that has two blades on it so like the handles in the middle and then you have two half circles that like make the scythe sickles or like the blades and it's pretty damn cool because like if you rotate in a circle and you get a 360 degree range attack as you can see it kind of looks like an oscillating blade that just takes away HP like crazy and since I'm not using auto targeting I can like direct my attacks to crowds with ease She's pretty damn efficient. I'll even go shinobi mode because like, I'm not worried in the least right now about these enemies. So there you go. You got the typical nurse look. Pretty nice. And then this... I don't know what this is. I think it is... I forgot what the costume was. I totally forgot what the costume was. But it, it totally suits her. So I'll just leave it at that. This is my first ninja scroll ability. It just goes through like enemies like nothing. Then this is my second one. The second one seems like it's more of a waste, actually. Holy shit. Bro, you have this kind of combinations? Like, what? That's ridiculous. These guys, these guys kind of took it a little bit far when it came to the combinations, don't you think? I don't know. I kind of think so, but I kind of don't think so. So like you can never have too many or too high of a combination in a sense. I guess it's only when it really affects gameplay. I'm not even going to use my max ability just yet. I guess I'm just keep the combo going. Nah, I'm not even gonna bother to keep the combo going. I'm just gonna let you fall there. So we gotta face some enemies this way. Yes, I can also fly around. Shit! I accidentally pressed the wrong button, so I used up two of my ninja scrolls, and now I cannot perform my ultimate. I'll get my ultimate back soon, though. Just gotta collect another ninja scroll real quick. So let's just do that. So like this is my ultimate and it consumes five of the ninja strolls. <laughs> so there you guys have it. I don't think it's even necessary for me to use that. My first ability is clearly the most versatile best one to use here. Like, look at this. Alright, 
so let's just go ahead and fly around. Okay, you're just flying to a pole. That works too. That ability is good for clearing crowds, but they all need to be in a in a sh closer or smaller radius for this to really get its maximum effect. But this character is most certainly great. Um, is there like a more serious enemy among them? So something actually did some combos to me. It seems. Let's just make sure that we target them first. So where are they at, though? Alright, there we go. Let's target these ones first. As you can see, these ones have a little bit of HP. Alright, that ought to take care of that one. Alright deal with this one next yeah so you're dead it seems like your HP doesn't actually update until like the combination is done I don't even know like sometimes you can actually see their HP going down as you're attacking them and then sometimes their HP just goes from like max like zero or like whatever it was until like zero and you're like what the hell <laughs> it's kinda weird at times this game looks pretty good for its textures, but the actual mechanics on how the textures interact with each other can be a little buggy at times, which is of course expected with PC games to an extent. I don't know if it has something to do with it being like a port perhaps, like it intending to be on console and coming to PC. Like I don't even know if this originated with PC or what, but I see that there's still some minor graphical things that you guys might notice is a little bit off with this game. Alright. A bit tattered up, you know, a little bit roughed up, but for the most part, you did that kind of flawlessly. Not too much damage. Nice little shot there. Alright. So now you guys have seen what fighting the actual enemies are like and then fighting the grunts, so you guys kind of got a feel. So pretty much the whole game goes between fighting grunts and then fighting bosses. Sometimes you might have fights where the grunts are around the bosses and you kind of got to like isolate the bosses to kill them or else you won't really proceed. I think you still have to kill everything, I don't know, but it's like it's kind of more confusing when you have to go kill the bosses with all the grunts around because of course auto-targeting is going to be a pain, but it's just everything else interfering with you in general trying to fight, you know, it's just a problem. So those can get annoying, but besides that, everything in this game is pretty easy pretty decent. I wouldn't call it a bad game. What do you mean the movie's already started? Why are y'all watching the movie though? Well, I guess the background is dark. Damn. Well, there really is something there. <laughs> I'm actually reading the dialogue here. Hmm. Bruh. So melodramatic. <laughs> Girl's like, tell her I'll be watching over her from heaven. I can't go on. I'm done. I'm freaking done, bro. <laughs> See, like, like it's, all, it's just facetious. Like, it's all just filler jokes. Just, uh... I don't know what the purpose of it is really just besides giving you a laugh honestly like there's no other purpose at all but it does its job it does its job so I ain't complaining it's pretty funny it gives you a little laugh so with that being said that is pretty much the game Sunron Kagura Estival Versus this one came out after Shinobi Versus a couple of years later so as you guys can see the graphics are most certainly improved um, it, it looks pretty good. I don't really have any complaints about the game. If anything, it'll be kind of fun to play online with other people, but... <sighs> I haven't even finished the damn campaign yet, you know. Like, I've been playing this game for a, a little while now. I, I've had it for longer than I've actually played it, of course. Like, 
I don't play it that often, but I know that I cleared through the main storyline, and then there's still a second storyline, and then a third storyline to play through. So it's like, um, uh, yeah, I'm still going through the second one right now. I don't even know if I'm halfway or a third way or what. But, as you guys see, there's a little bit of progress to be made in this, so... Once you pick up the game, you, you pretty much got a fair bit of stuff to complete. Kind of keeps you occupied, and it's not... It, uh, I don't know. It feels repetitive if you play the game for, like, two hours straight. But if you're only playing it for, like, half an hour or an hour, then it doesn't feel as bad. Because, like, everyone's combinations are different, but the concept kind of gets repetitive of, like, you having to kill grunts and, like, you know, two bosses. Stuff like that. I mean, if you guys like this kind of stuff, maybe you can enjoy playing it for longer. But, personally, this is one something I only pick up for, like, an hour and then do something else, you know? So, yeah. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out, YouTubers.